Hi, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. In this video, I want to show you some of the features of Google Scholar that can be helpful to students as they do research. First of all, Google Scholar, found at scholar.google.com, is not a search engine like google.com or Bing or Yahoo where it's looking for links. What we're looking for here are peer-reviewed articles, books, journal entries, that sort of thing. Uh, so we're not going to find websites per se. We're going to find links to uh, those articles. We may in some cases find the full article and other times we might find a link to download the article. So my students here are going to do some research on lobsters and their impact on the economy of Maine. So let's go ahead and do that search. Let's pull up this article down here, the third article down. We can see it's cited by 33 people. If we click on that link, we can then see who those 33 people were, and we can see who cited their articles. We can see that this one here was cited by 49 people, and we can follow this connection as far as we want, really. Let's go back to my original search result page. There are a couple of things here that I want to point out to you that can be helpful to students. First of all, I'm signed into my account. You can see I have my email up there. I'm going to go ahead and save this article. And now it's saved, and it appears in my library of saved articles. Now another feature of Google Scholar that I want to show off is Google Scholar Alerts we can go ahead and we can create an alert for any time something about Maine lobster economy pops up or lobster and Maine anything new that pops up in Google Scholar about lobsters in Maine I'll get an email sent to me and I'm gonna create my alert so those are two features of Google Scholar that I think your students can really benefit from using particularly high school and college students who are looking for uh, material that is beyond just what's on the public-facing web.